Today we're going to explode the myth of molar wear aging. I'm Henry Chigi of Wildlife Analytical Labs, located down in Burnett, Texas. The two points I want to make and teach you today is number one, how to age your own deer up to two and a half years old. The second point is why molar wear aging is just a myth and how do you actually find the age of deer that are older than two and a half. When your deer is on the ground, it's actually very easy to tell the age of that deer. The first point is, is to look inside the mouth at the lower jaw, the teeth on the rear of the lower jaw. As you look down this jaw, you see there are six teeth. That's a characteristic of a mature whitetail. If you were to count five teeth or four teeth, you would know that deer was born this spring, a six month old deer. The next step is, is when you look at the number of teeth, you count six teeth. Now we look at the third tooth. If that third tooth has three cusps, we know for sure this deer, with six teeth total, we know for sure this deer is a year and a half old deer. If we see two cusps on this third tooth, we know for certain the deer is at least two and a half years old. Now the next step, if you want to know more about how old that deer is, other than it's two and a half or older, the only way to find out is something called cementum annuli or cementum layer aging. And this is based on the characteristic that every year any mammal, you, me, deer, horse, cow, it doesn't matter, has a tooth in his jaw, there's a layer of material called cementum that's deposited around the root under the gum line. So a tooth in a deer or any other mammal's mouth is very similar to a tree. A tree has growth rings, whereas a mammal's tooth root has cementum layers or cementum rings. The key difference between cementum layers and growth rings on a tree, however, is the purpose of a tree's growth rings is so the tree gets bigger. The purpose of the cementum layers in a mammal's mouth is just so there's a new place for the flesh to attach on the jaw so the tooth doesn't fall out of the mammal. So it doesn't get bigger in size, it's just a very thin layer that's on the surface of the tooth. Now we know, from looking at that jaw, you know for sure whether that deer is six months old, 18 months old, or two and a half or older. If it's two and a half and older, and you want to know the exact age, this is where we blow the myth apart about molar wear aging. Most people, including a lot of wildlife biologists, I tell you that if you look at the wear on those molars, somehow you should be able to interpret that to tell how old that animal is. Doesn't work. No more than it works on your tire on your truck. If I went out to your tire on your truck and I told you by looking at tread wear, I could tell you how many miles you've been on that truck or how many months you'd have owned those tires, you'd look at me and say, probably you can't do that, Henry. It turns out the same thing applies to white-tailed deer and any of the other game mammals. Where doesn't tell you how old the deer is. It's an interesting myth that started originally in a study done in 1949 by a biologist by the name of Severn House. He taught us all how to do this eruption aging, which is well, what you just learned about 16, six month old, 18 month old, and two and a half year older deer, which is very accurate. Then he went on to hypothesize that you could tell by looking at molar wear. Not one study done since 1949 supports the hypothesis. As a matter of fact, Ever study, and there have been many since 1949, says it doesn't work. The myth continues, though. They even still teach it in school for wildlife biologists. So how do you find the age out? What do we do to find out the exact age of that deer? The way we do that is something called cementum annuli. It is a process that looks at the cementum layers that are deposited annually on the roots of mammal teeth. Every year a mammal has a tooth in its jaw, there's another layer of the cementum deposited. And under a microscope in a lab at about 150 power with proper staining of the slide, you can actually tell how many lines or how many layers on this mammal's tooth root. And then you can tell from that the age of the deer or the other game mammal. So how do you get those teeth out? What teeth do we need to look at? The teeth we look at are the two center incisors in a white tail or other normal game mammal's mouth. You take those two teeth, first step to get them out, is you take your pocket knife and you put it between the two center teeth. You rock it back and forth until you're down to the bone. Now you take your knife and you do the same thing on either side of those two center front teeth. Now you go back to the center, take your knife, and move it back and forward like a dog tail. Now what happens now is you've loosened up all the cartilage. The only thing that's holding this tooth in the jaw is the flesh that's attached to the cementum actually around, around those two front teeth. 
So now you can push those teeth down and out. If you try something else without cutting that flesh first, what's going to happen is you're going to break the tip of the root off. And that's the part where it has the most accurate information in terms of aging a white-tailed deer. Those layers are the most accurate down towards the bottom third of the tip of the root. So now you take those two teeth and you put them in an envelope, right on the outside of the envelope, how you want us to talk to you about that animal. You mail them to us. We take those in the lab. We put them in an acid solution for about a week. At the end of that period, they're no longer like a bone. They're like a hard pencil eraser. Now we take that hard pencil eraser of a tooth, if you will, we put it in a mold so we can hook it to a microtome, a slicing device, and we cover it with paraffin. We pour hot wax all around it. Now we can mount it in a microtome and we take 10 micron thick slices of that tooth to where the center of the tooth, and once we're at the center, now we catch a couple of these slices on a slide. What you see here is one of the wax paraffin cassettes. This has a tooth that's been sliced to the center. We've captured two of those slices here on this slide, stained them, put a cover slip on them, and this is what we look at under the microscope. I rest my case. Molar wear aging is a myth and is busted now forever. I am Henry Chigi of Wildlife Analytical Labs, and I'd just like to thank you for taking the time to learn more about being a wildlife steward and being a responsible steward of this beautiful whitetail population we enjoy here.